All right, did you guys know that you can use linear equations to solve mixture problems? How great is that? Let's take a look and see how it works. Okay, so you are going to learn to love word problems. Here we go. A lab technician needs 25 liters of a solution that is 15% acid for a certain experiment. But she has only a solution that is 10% acid and a solution that is 30% acid. How many liters of the 10% and the 30% solution should she mix to get what she needs? So here's what's happening. A solution, if you guys aren't that familiar, my understanding of a solution is it's a mixture of, in this case, acid and water. So how strong is the acid in the solution mixture? Well, a 15% acid solution has 15% acid and the rest is water. A 30% acid solution is stronger, it's more acidic. So she doesn't have what she needs, but she's got a 10% acid solution and a 30% acid solution. And she needs to figure out how much of each one should she put together to get that 25 liters of a 15% acid solution. Okay, so let's look at it. We're gonna use decimals because we have percentages and we're gonna write an equation and solve and it's gonna be amazing. So she has 10%, I'm gonna take that 10% and write it as 0 0.10. She has a 10% solution. She needs some of that. So we're going to multiply that by X. That's some of the 25 liters. So she's going to pour in her 10% solution. She's also going to add in her 30% solution. So 0 0.30 times. Now I can't say X because this X right here is sum of the 25 liters. Well, the rest of it is going to be the 30%. So if it's 25 liters and we subtract out what she's, how much of the 10% solution she's using, the rest will be for the 30% solution. Okay, and then she needs to end up with a 15% solution. So 15% solution of her 25 liters. Did I say this was gonna be fun? Okay, let's solve this. We are gonna do some distributing. Let's clean up this equation. So we have 0.10x, plus 7.5. Now 0.3 times a negative x is a negative 0.3x equals, and then 0.15 times 25 is 3.75. Okay, combine like terms. 0.10x times a negative 0.3x is a negative 0.20x plus 7.5 equals 3.75. Um, again, anything that's connected to our variable will go less, so let's subtract the 7.5 from both sides. I'm gonna bring that up here. Hope you guys are writing smaller than me. That gives us negative 0.20x equals negative 3.75. Divide both sides by a negative 2.0. 0. 0.20, 0, I think I just said that wrong, that cancels. So x is 18.75. Okay, so what is x? Remember, x is how much of the 10% solution she should use. So she should use 18.75 liters of the 10% solution. Well, remember she needs 25 total liters. So if we take 25 and subtract the 18.75, that's gonna give us the rest of it, which is 6.25 liters of the 30% solution. So if she uses that combination, she's gonna end up with a 15% solution and she'll have 25 liters of it. Okay, Whew. now that we've talked through it, they can go a little faster. If the lab technician needs 30 liters of a 25% acidic acid solution, how many liters of the 10% and the 30% acid solution should she mix to get what she needs? Okay, so 
kind of very similar idea um, where you just have a little bit different numbers. So she's going to take 10 per, her 10% acid solution, and we're going to multiply it by however many liters of that she has. Plus, she has her 30% solution, and this time she needs 30 total liters. So we're going to take the 30 liters and subtract out X, and X is how much she used with her 10% solution. It's going to equal, she's looking for, always on the other side of the equal sign, she's looking for 30 liters of the 0 0.25, 25% acid solution. Okay, let's do our distributing. 0.10x plus 0.3 times 3, times 30, excuse me, is 9. 0.3 times negative x is negative 0.30x equals 7.5 if we multiply those together. Combine like terms, get a negative 0.20x plus 9 equals 7.5. Subtract 9 from both sides, negative 0.20x equals negative 1.5, divide both sides by negative 0 0.20, and x equals 7.5. Remember, that x is up here. That's how many liters of the 10% solution she's going to use. So she needs 7.5 liters of the 10% solution, and the rest of it, the rest of it is 30 minus 7.5, she needs 22.5 liters of the stronger 30% solution. Awesome. Does yours look as good as mine? You guys should be proud of that.